Okay, let's do another example. Let's this time, uh, let's take, the question is, let's find the GCD, the greatest common divisor of 7 and 26, okay? Now, once again, uh, 7 and 26, you probably know at this stage that they're actually relatively prime to each other, okay? But let's apply the Euclidean algorithm, okay? So applying the Euclidean, Euclidean algorithm, oh, Euclidean algorithm, okay? Um, what we get is, we take the largest number, we have 26 is equal to, well, how many times does 7 divide into 26? Well, 7 goes into 26 three times, so it must be equal to 7 times 3 plus some remainder. Well, 3 sevens is 21, and what we have left over is 26 minus 21 gives us, gives us 5. So what we know is 26 is equal to 7 times 3 plus 5 or 7 divides into 26 three times with a remainder of 5. Once again, that's the division algorithm. Then we take these two numbers. So we take our original number and we take the remainder. And we ask how many times does 5 divide into 7? Okay, well, 7 is equal to 5 times 1, because 5 only goes in once, plus a remainder of 2. And we continue in this process. We take these two numbers, always asking how many times does the remainder divide into the number that we've previously calculated, or the, from with respect to the previous remainder. Okay? So what we have is 5 must be equal to, well, 2 into 5 goes twice, so it's equal to 2 times 2 plus a remainder of 1. We take these two numbers and we apply the division algorithm again. We must have 2 is equal to well, it's equal to 1 times 2, because 1 divides into 2 twice, plus a remainder of 0. And once again, the greatest common divisor is the last non-zero remainder in this list. So here's our non-zero remainder. remainder. And what we now know is this, is that the GCD, the greatest common divisor of 7 and 26, is equal to... Uh, it's equal to 1. Okay, so that's the division algorithm. Maybe I'll do one more example. Oh, sorry, that's the Euclidean algorithm. Maybe we'll do one more example. Uh, let's take two different numbers. Let's say we take, uh, we defined the GCD, and let's say in this particular instance that we want to find the GCD of, let's say, 14, and let's say uh, 60, 69. Okay, just as an example. Okay, well, the Euclidean algorithm the Euclidean algorithm okay, uh, would say we take the largest number, which is 69. 69 is equal to, well, how many times does 13 divide into 69? Okay, well, let's check that out. Okay, so we have 69 divided by 13. It goes in five times. So what we know is 69 must be equal to 13 times 5 plus some remainder. So let's see what the remainder is. Okay, so we have 69 minus 13 times 5. 69 minus 13 times 5 gives a remainder of gives us a remainder of 4. Okay, let's do it again. This time, what we do is we take our number and we take our remainder, and we ask how many times does 4 divide into 13? So 13 is equal to three fours goes in. Four goes into 13 three times, so it's four times three plus a remainder of one. Take these two numbers, how many times does 1 divide into 4? Well, 4 is equal to 1 times 4 plus 0. And once again, the GCD is the last non-zero non -zero remainder. Okay. Uh, this particular example, or in the last three examples, the non last non-zero remainder was 1. And I suppose this is important for us because uh, in most of the cases, well, in all the cases, especially in relation to the affine cipher, when we need to find our A's and our B's, uh, and also the size of our alphabet M, we want A to be relatively prime to M. We want the GCD of A and M to be equal to 1. Okay, that's just a little bit of side there. Uh, so in all these three examples, the two numbers that we've been calculating the GCD of, the GCDs have been 1. They've been relatively prime to each other. Okay, So in this case here, the GCD of 13 and 69 is equal to 1. Okay, 
Uh, the next video, guys, we'll look at calculating the greatest common divisor of two numbers where the GCDs are not equal to one and where there's actually a where the numbers are not relatively prime to each other. So maybe you can uh, you can have a look at that video uh, next. Hey guys, once again, this was uh, Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland, uh, and I hope this video was somewhat somewhat helpful. Okay, bye bye.